as that dreaded and stressful time of year approaches, there are still moments of rest and relaxation. And this is the final lockdown bar. When I started this project, it was to help people make sure there was a little something every week for entertainment during the lockdown. With new vaccines in production and being ready to be shipped out, and with me returning to work, making a weekly schedule less tenable, I've decided it's time to bring it to an end. Now this week's poem is one that is best described as tragic emo poetry of the medieval period. It's entitled The Phantom. I am not he whom you know, my friends. Start not in false alarm. Cold is he whose mate I am in my place. I am a spirit that lives no more. Think ye, O oh ye who look upon me, that it is not a phantom in an airy shroud, or the spirit of a false name that has come in my stead. I may know that I am not in your debt. If my death would bring ye trouble, why have ye not heard thereof? Alas, ye wretched folk, your senses have been altered. What is here in my name is the phantom of a name without a soul. I am not the man ye think. Respect shown to me is a loss of faith. I am a poor, crazy phantom. Oh, Mary, woe to him whom I would ruin. Should one consider all the men in the world, seldom has any human being, save me, got two periods on earth. If I live, I have been canonized. Whoever should say that I have not departed, that is only a conjecture. To tell me so is untimely. More fitting were alms for my soul. I myself believe that I am dead. I remember the day I died, despite the number that live throwing doubt upon my death. It was no disturbance, nor deadly quarrel that slew me, but intoxication of delight. No depression of spirit, what greater affliction. No excess of sickness or suffering. It was a creature of heaven, that by an angelic vision caused my soul to be stolen without the pangs of death. Strange is the ground for my misery. Since I came in the sight of her, ah, Christ, why should I live? A creature that has slain every man, only a dead man would she not slay. It was not a swelling wave of melancholy, not dislike of anything on her, nor love of anyone in short that blinded me, but terror, arisen from my former state. Believe me simply, it killed me with fear. I have heard that I am alive. I know not her appearance. No eye can look upon her. Though I could not gaze upon her, my mind beheld the sight of her. Since I am a deluded spectre, without hope of escaping from this misery, may no man's eye see her, this rational creature ye hear of. Ere she restored me to life, God defend me from her. I have encountered no real hardship before the second death that awaits me. The meaning of my name when I lived is doubtful to few scholars. Take a 
bitch with sense and beauty, not him. This poet has not even seen the woman he is pining after. And yet, he pulls out this dramatic nonsense. Incels, it would seem, are eternal. I hope you've enjoyed this poem, and thank you for listening.